Hi, I'm Norma Real, and I was working on this tie quilt today, and I had 81 ties to secure and draw lines on, and I decided to show you the quickest way I found to do that. So I just want to show you real quick that I started with geometric line, and I always make that one of my favorites. And I'm going to go ahead and place my points. And I'm just putting it pretty much to the outside of each of these ties and marking it like that. And just going up the side and then down. And I just connected that whole thing in a geometric line first. Okay, here's my points that I drew on the quilt, on the tie. And I'm gonna click this and hit F7, because I can see that I didn't connect that very good. So I'm gonna move that node and connect it right there because I want it to be clean. Um, let's zoom in a little bit more and hit F7 again. And I want that right there to connect, so. All right, and if I really wanted it to be exactly accurate, I can hit my E and make sure that connects right there with the E. That means the end. All right, I'm gonna click on that first one and I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna hit order join. And that joined everything together. And then I'm gonna right click and hit combine to make sure and combine that whole pattern. So now that pattern, when I click it is one pattern and now I wanna echo it. And I wanna, let's see if echo works for me today. <laughs> I'm gonna right click, hit echo and I want it to do inside and two of them and point one, two. I don't want a very much of a in between, but a little bit and it worked perfectly. And you can see right here where the start and stop at, they're all pretty much right together. So that's why I can just click the mode button to keep going and it just does a tiny jump stitch and goes. But that's how I design it on the screen with um, the line draw technique so or the geometric line and um, point to point so there you go so now we're going to quilt it and I'm going to try to move my camera camera around for you as it's working so you can see it try not to get in the way so now it's doing the outside line where I put it in the perimeter around the outside of that tie And you can see it going right around the outside of that tie. Because that's where I told it to start. And now I'm going to go ahead and have it. I'm just going to hit my mode button and have it keep going. I've got a little bit of a jump stitch there, but not much. And I'm going to have it do the first step though. And that's the first echo that it's going around inside. Okay, now I'm going to have it do the second echo, another jump stitch. And I just cut these, they're just tiny. And here it's doing the second echo around the tie. I was going to the struggle of trying to think about connecting them and doing F4 and getting them all in order, but I was like, this is just fast for me. So I did it just like this. Put in my um, geometric line, did my points in my tie, and echoed twice. And there you go, that's what I did with each one of these ties and I'm gonna show you real quick the end result. So I'm working on this tie quilt and um, so I'm showing you the end result of what that geometric line did. These are not done yet. These are the ones I've done and you can see how I put the line in and then I did the echo. And so they're all attached very smoothly and they all come into the center. 
and you can see all the lines on them, but when you stand back, um, that's the one we just did right there, that blue one. Um, but when you stand back, I'm gonna stand back a minute, you can see how nice and secure they are and how pretty they look. Um, I'm gonna zoom in here on the corner. So I did them in the corner. In the corner ones, they're smaller ties, so I only did one echo. And I did two here in the center. So you can see how nicely they're attached and how it worked really well for me. So there you go, just a little fun with geometric lines.